Hello and welcome to another league game. So this will be the rematch against Julius Bor Borisov. So I will be allies this game and he will be Axis. So let's get this going. So yeah, the regular buy four and two. Then we'll just do the usual and hope we don't get unlucky. This is one of the strongest openings you can have with Russia. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I actually feel bad for him. Oh. Yeah, I wish the... Like, somebody put it out in the comments, like... It would be really nice if the first round... Uh, like, all of round one for all nations is, like, low luck. I think it would be much more fair, and then from round two onwards, then you can be stabbed at dice, because yeah, I think this is kind of too strong of an opening, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, let's see how he responds to this very strong opening. Alright, Germany won. Six tanks and one infantry. Uh, took Karelia, uh, took Ukraine. Ooh, lost five infantry, wow. Yeah, he lost way more than he should have, I think. And uh, got season seven. But what's interesting here is uh, he split up all his units. So what this does, this is a really good response to this, re this Russian strong opener, because what this does, like, I, I can't hit uh, everything uh, here. It, it's impossible. Like, yeah, I can, but then all my units will be gone next round from all the counter attacks. And then, yeah, it's just, yeah, the, it's not so good with Russians. So, I also can strafe both of these, but, but it's very risky. So, what I'm actually going to do with the Russians is I'm only going to strafe this and kill this transport and this transport. Uh, just to be safe. Uh, I learned it the hard way, like if you're going to greedy, you will get punished for it, so especially in the general's division. So I'm gonna play it safe and just strafe this, so that's all I'm gonna do. And uh, um, yeah, I was thinking about maybe killing this Africa core, but yeah, I think I'm only gonna kill this with the destroyer and every air force, just to ensure that it dies, and then take France and then park my navy here. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just stay put in Egypt and uh, kill this. So my buy will be three infantry, one destroyer and one carrier. So the fighter and cruiser will go there, and these units will do nothing. Um, Kill this. Uh, yeah, so this fighter will just chill because it will land here. So, yeah. That's it. Alright, I'm supposed to take France. Okay. 
So the bomber will land there. Fighter will land there. This guy will go here. I think these units will just stay here. And uh, yeah, this guy will go there. Can move up some units in case they are needed here. Like that. So carrier, destroyer, yeah, and three infantry. All right, Japan won. Two artilleries, free transport. It's oh, an interesting buy. Is that an India timing, perhaps? But yeah, uh, didn't do Pearl Harbor, just went to here and to here and free to here. But yeah, he knows I'm not gonna attack this because I left this transport alive. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, so I think... Yeah, it's gonna be a kill Germany first. I'm just wondering how to do this best. But I think my buy is gonna be 1-1, one, one, free transport and one carrier. And uh, I'm gonna kill this with this fighter here. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go to here. And that will be it. I'm gonna move the destroyer there. I'm gonna move this guy here. I don't think I need this guy. This guy there, cruiser there. I'm gonna move these fighters down here. Pick up one guy here. This guy will move up. <laughs> Do I want to kill this battleship? Yeah, I think I kind of do, so this can go here. This guy will move back. Couldn't go the Alaska route. I really don't care if he goes the Alaska route. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. No, the Soviets, because it's making uh, uh, India play. I'm just gonna buy two tanks to place the place here to conquer this. So, obviously we're gonna kill this. And uh, I am gonna go for this. I'm gonna try to strafe it. So I have a 10% chance to conquer here. Actually, I'm gonna pull back one artillery, then it leaves less chance of, of uh, actually conquering it. I think that looks fine. Hmm. Not the best. Yeah, that was not so good. Um, hmm. Do we go again here? Um, I think we do one more time just to see. Yeah, that's better. Alright, yeah, not the best strafe. <laughs> um, let's see, now I have to check if he can actually kill this. Because he can bring 7 and 7 and 5. Um, what do I have here? I have just two tanks. Uh, hmm. So I'm gonna have 
10 infantry, 1 artillery, just 2 tanks and 2 fighters. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, he actually has odds <laughs> to clear West Russia now uh, because of that. So, yeah. So yeah, I guess we have to retreat from West Russia. But I think, oh, it's not dead zone because of these spiders here. Huh. Yeah, what I'm thinking, if I move here, he can just stack this, and uh, I don't think I can kill it with these six fighters, and also you can put two in, probably put everything here in India, and then we'll have all sorts of problems. And then maybe I have to abandon Africa as well. Hmm. My plan was to stay with these guys as well, because these fighters can't reach, but I think now I have to go back with these units. Hmm. Yeah, that was not so good. <laughs> Could try to kill these two units. Because I think it's gonna do... Also, I can. So if I kill this unit, he only has 7 and 5, and I will have. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Hmm, tricky situation. Uh, I'm gonna think some more about what to do. So, uh, I can land in Russia is here or here, but since I don't have odds to hold this, uh, I can't land here. And obviously, I can't land here because then it would just die. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna have to retreat to Caucasus, and then I have to land this fighter in the UK. So this fighter will be out of action for like two rounds in Russia. But uh, yeah, at least I didn't. At least I get to keep it. But yeah, not a good fight. But also, it's really good placement by uh, Julius, like with all these tanks, like uh, you can see by placing his tanks here, it gives him the option here instead of um, uh, like smacking everything into here. So like uh, this mini stacks, it's, you can see here the prime example of why <laughs> when it goes bad, it just shifts the initiative all the way back to him now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to retreat. Um, so we're gonna go to Caucasus. So yeah, now it's obviously gonna stack West Russia. Obviously this planes will be there to reinforce. And uh, also he's gonna put pressure on India. So now he's gonna have to make me choose which one to defend. Um, also it leaves Africa in play now. So now it's gonna be a very tough decision for me on what to do. Um, but yeah, can't be helped. Oh yeah, it has to land there. And now regarding these units, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, look at the stack. I'm actually gonna need these units. I wanted to keep them, but since this didn't go so well, I have to retreat here. Uh, unfortunately, but yeah, it happens. I am gonna place the tanks here and here and here. So yeah. Germany too, 13 and 1, uh, took Russia, West Russia obviously, France and uh, destroyed this destroyer. Also, he parked his fighters here and stepped back here, which is a really good move, because yeah, now I can't attack with the Americans, and yeah, if I move in here with the British, I will just get crushed, and then the Africa is open for him. Um, but yeah, 
I don't look how this looks, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a chance and try to attack the friends. I'm also gonna rearrange some units to go here to try to duff some caucuses for one round. And I think his response will be he will just stack India. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to abandon India. I can't hold it. Like, I, I'm gonna prioritize this uh, over India. Uh, the only bad thing about that is uh, yeah, these American planes won't have anything to land, so they will be kind of useless for uh, like a round or two since they won't have anything to do. I'm also a little worried about my fighter here, especially since I'm going for this. But yeah, we'll worry about that later. Um, for now, my buy is gonna be a one and one for London and then three tanks for India. That trans another transport here. So let's do this way I'm gonna attack. I am gonna can opener this. It's a chance I'm, I wanna take. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see if he kills any fighters. He did not, which is good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got it. That's good at least. Let's see if we can preserve this bomber. Alright, sweet. <coughs> yeah, it was a big risk I took with this bomber because now, uh, because what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go and pick up these units here and place them there, and then this will go there and there and there. And because now, with this, uh, this carrier is here and he can't kill it, well, I can threaten Borneo to take it uh, if I want to. Um, yeah, I need two infantry here. How many infantry is here now? It's five, eight, eight and one. It's enough to dead zone this. Um, he does have a chance of going for India now if he wants to. But it's not the tie because three of these fighters has to go here to make it a 50-50. So, like, yeah, if he goes for here with everything, that's fine. Then I would just attack this for sure. Um, yeah, it's, I'm gonna count with three fighter one, and then I will have two, three, and two, and one. So yeah, I will have a 75% chance with three fighters uh, attacking this, and uh, one artillery and one tag, so that's my reasoning behind that. So that will go here. Uh, this sub is actually gonna go here, because I have a very small navy here <laughs> that can maybe cause some trouble. And, uh, hmm, let's see here. This destroyer, I think if I am gonna put it here, since I'm gonna capture this with the Americans, so then maybe I can kill a fighter if he wanna go for that again, that's fine. He went for it here, so he might go for this again, and if we get lucky, we can take out the fighter. And this AA gun has to be here. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's it, so... Transport, free tanks, and this... Two bombers, two infantry, and one artillery. And uh, took a bunch of undefended territory and uh, went for Kazakh. So that's interesting. But I have had a ch change of plans. Uh, at first, I was looking to stack this with this navy and this navy with two fighters. But then I saw the bombers, and I don't have odds to do it. But what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold India one round, because I have odds to hold it, and then I'm gonna try to evacuate it. Uh, but what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna try to kill this unit, and uh, then send two tanks and these four infantry and this fighter here to try to kill it, because then it will be wide open here. Um, uh, that's so that's what I'm gonna do. It does leave. I um, mean, I have to leave this battleship wide, <coughs> unfortunately. 
so yeah, cause I think that's the better move. Uh, cause yeah, mm, yeah, I think that's what I'm going with. So my buy is four and two and three transport. So let's do this. Hopefully we can kill this with only one casualty. And also, I'm going to take Norway. Uh, so yeah. Oh, both units were nice. That's very nice. Oops, no, I don't want to land there. So I'm gonna go there. I am gonna put the destroyer there just to be annoying, but I am gonna save the carrier. And then I will be going to here. I will be going there. I am gonna go there with this carrier. And I'm gonna place this fighter here. So my plan is to capture Borneo with the UK and then block with this carrier here to have odds to hold it. Um so yeah. Russia, it will be 5 and 2. And uh, yeah, so one infantry will go there, two tanks, this and this. It will be the only combat. Not the best. Let's try again. Better. Ouch, 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 ouch. That hurt. Well, at least we have one tank alive, so yeah. So that will be really annoying for him. So this fighter will go to here because otherwise it will die. <laughs> um, I will keep this blocker here. So also I gotta make sure, oh yeah. So like that. So yeah, now he can stack the Caucasus, but yeah, it's okay. I don't mind that. I'm gonna prioritize the India defense one more round and then try to evacuate this. Um, but it also means, like, yeah, again, he's gonna have a free reign into Africa here, but yeah, I'm gonna deal with that. So, yeah. So, Germany free, 14 infantry. Uh, took Caucasus with one guy, tried to hit Archangel, took Ukraine, took France, and took Morocco and Libya. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead with my plan and pressure the Japanese at the expense of German expansion. But yeah. So my buy is gonna be six and two and one transport and one fighter. So I can get 60% odds to India to hold. So yeah, if you wanna attack that, that's fine. But I'm also gonna go for Borneo and send one tank here just to be extra annoying. Um. So yeah, let's do this. So we are gonna. Pick up one, one, attack this, and we're gonna send one infantry to there, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna stack France. Got this in this. Well, 
Well, we killed it. That's the main thing. So now it's open for the Russians. So everything else will go back. I'm gonna put a blocker here. I'm, I'm gonna put a blocker there. I'm gonna go up with this. So now we are up to four transports. And yeah, so we can't hit this. I'm gonna send one there just in case I might need it with the Russians. Or for the Russians. Oh no, I forgot to take this. Ah oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It would have been extremely annoying, but oh, I guess we just have to put it there. And the sub, I'm gonna... No, actually, I'm gonna keep it here, just to be annoying. So, yeah, I think that's it. Too bad I forgot about this. But yeah, that concludes our turn. So, one transport... Then... Two artilleries, two there, and then like this. Alright, Japan free. Uh, so we opted not to go for India. But free transport, free infantry, one artillery and one tank. Uh, went for this. Went for this. Uh, took back East Indies. Lost a bomber against the carrier, which is curious. Um, went for this as well, but managed to hit a bomber, so he, and he went for this tank, and he lost a, a fighter, so he got so unlucky. Uh, lost three planes for that, that was really unlucky for him. Um, so, I think what I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm actually gonna try to set up a medchuck, um, just to threaten him, but yeah, we can easily ban it and then go back to here, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill this battleship and then I actually can capture this territory with this transport and then I'm gonna go here as well. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I'm a little suspicious of this free transport by he now has like seven transports. So I think I'm gonna place some units here uh, in case he tries. Like I think this either means he's gonna go for a India play again to bring all these units down and uh, to try to set up for a VC play here, or it's an all-in against here. But I don't see no reason to go all-in. Like Germany is a decent position, so I think it's a VC play to be honest. Mm, so I'm gonna have to be careful around here um, so yeah but yeah that's anyway what I'm going for so we are gonna kill this we are gonna take this uh, yeah, we are gonna take back this and we are gonna go for this so I think, yeah, I can reach this with three fighters, so one, two, three, yeah, the Japanese can't reach here, so I think, maybe I just put the cruiser here, or I'm gonna use the bombard there. Do I even need the bombard? I don't think I need a bombard to be honest. I want the option of going back to a Finland shack, so I'm just gonna place it here because the carrier is gonna have to come down here. So I'm not gonna use a bombard. Um, but so this unit will come back, so we'll go up. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use one extra here uh, since. I'm gonna have one unit left over, so yeah, I think that's the play. Uh oh. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that sucked.
Yeah, because we failed to capture Morocco, he can now land his fighters here. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to take the bomber as a casualty here because I want these fighters alive. So. Oh, yeah, right. I can't. Oh, no, it has to go there. What happens if I do it like this? Ah, oh, I wish I knew that before I took the bomber as casualty. Oh, well. So now everything is gonna have to come here. Uh, I am gonna go down with this tank. And I. Oh, I forgot to capture this as well. Ah, oh, so many mistakes. Oh, that is not good. Oh, well. Just gonna place it there. Yeah, that's not so good. I'm actually gonna place this unit here, like... Yeah, he can kill it, but it will be annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was not the best play, to be honest. Um, but yeah, well, uh, there, I mean. I should have brought the Bombard. And I should have captured this. I think I'm playing too fast, so I'm gonna have to take a break from, uh, from now, so... Yeah, that was not so good. But yeah, mm. <laughs> so the medjack is now completely out of the question. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. That was not the best. But yeah, I, I guess I'll call it even since he lost. So many planes. Um, I'm gonna send one fighter up. And I think India is safe, so I'm gonna put this fighter here just in case. One, two, three, Maybe I should actually put it here <laughs> to try it. Because there's no air force to help him here oh yeah but the japanese oh, i can buy a blocker how much money do i have with the british i have a lot of money so i think i'm actually is this a good move hmm Should I place them here? It requires me to buy. Which money did I have again? 40? Yeah. I don't know. Just real. Oh, he only has four planes that can come to this. Yeah, he might go for this actually. It's kind of weak since I only left one fighter since I forgot to capture this. Maybe I should bring an extra destroyer here to be honest. Like, yeah, if he goes for this, this I can just go back and kill it. So I think I have to put the safety here, just because I'm kind of light on planes. Here. I think maybe I would have gone for that. It's kind of weak. <laughs> just curious what the odds are, just in case. So like 4 fighter versus 1-1 one, one, and 1. It's about a 50-50, I'm like, he has a lot of money. He might go for that, so I'm actually gonna put the destroyer here. And then tempt him to go for this. Um, uh, because yeah, the fighters have to land here, but then yeah, I can just kill it. Then I have to buy a destroyer blocker here. Because one, two, three, four, and this carrier can land there. So yeah, I'm gonna tempt him to do that. 
Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that, so I'm gonna have to make a note. Uh... Like this. So I am gonna go for this. Kind of liking this plan. Yeah. Let's do this. So one transport, one there. So how many are gonna come back now? I, it's hard to say since a lot of it might be killed. So at least four. And then this. No, it's, so yeah, six units. So I am gonna place two units here, just in case of any shenanigans here. And then do it like this. So yeah, with the Russians, I don't think it will be a lot of action. Just kill this and obviously capture this. for 3 and 11 uh, took Algeria did not go for any of this uh, took Hoxus took back France and go up and tear with Archangel um, so what I'm gonna do yeah obviously I'm gonna destroy your block here uh, I'm actually gonna kill this with the British um, this unit's have lived long enough now uh, and I'm gonna try to go for France, otherwise the Americans will clean it up. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. We can use three fighters, we can use one tank, and one bomber. And uh, we are gonna go for this. Too bad this can't reach. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. So sure, this is a good move. <laughs> yeah, we really like to clear this. How much money do I have? 30. I wonder if it might be better to just go here and then... Yeah, I think actually it's... Here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna take this with the British. Then I'm gonna attack with everything down here. And then I am not gonna use the carrier, I think. No, I'm not gonna use the fighter. Because I think this should clear it. Or maybe I should. One, two, three. Yeah, I have. <laughs> because what I'm thinking about is. I don't want to move the carrier down here, I want the option of going up here, uh, in case I want to go up here with the Americans. But yeah, the Americans is going to have to clear this, so... Yeah, screw it, it's more important to kill this. So yeah, let's do this. Wow, zero hits. Zero hits again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I 
could have lived without the fighter, it's not hitting, so... <laughs> now it hits. <laughs> Alright, we managed to capture it, but that... Boy, that was expensive-ish. Alright, took Burma. Failed cock, but that's... Okay, so now I am... I wanna go here. What do I? No... Yeah, actually I do. So my free fighters is going there, this will have to go here. This will go there. So now the Americans is gonna kill this, so I'm gonna move. Actually, this fighter is kind of not necessary. So one, two, three, four, yeah. I'm gonna put it in Norway. Then it gives me the option to hitting France if I want to. Yeah, his odds now is... So like one, two, and four fighters can reach. So I think I can move out with a lot of units. So basically... Like this. So yeah, now uh, it gives me options for America. Like I can resume the Medchuck. Um, like, well, obviously, I'm gonna go for France. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna check the in the odds real quick again. So if I have free, free and free, yeah, it's, I can't capture it. So, destroyer. Two artilleries. And two infantry. And there we go. So Japan for five infantry and two artilleries and one complex. Took Western Australia, took Alaska. Um, oh, try to kill my destroyer. Kill my sub. And uh, took Burma. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I'm gonna try to set up a med shock here, and I'm, I'm gonna take France, and then I'm gonna have to decide if I try. I'm gonna try to stack France or start a Finland shock. Uh, my buy is going to be 8 and 1, and then 1 sub for here just to protect against this shenanigans here, and then... And then... Uh, yeah, an extra transport. So... I am going to move these units up here. Capture this. And then... I am going to take France. Question is with what? Um, maybe with this, and go there with the battleship. Hmm. Should I move one of these units down? Yeah, I think I should. I think this is enough for France. Yeah, I'm gonna decide on non-com after this. Alright, so these fighters will go up to Moscow, because I think they will be needed. Uh, I'm gonna put this carrier here. I'm gonna move up here. I'm gonna move... Uh, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna move this unit here, this unit here. No, not the cruiser. I'm gonna move down the destroyer there. 
and then place the fighters here, I think. Then they can risk Moscow and India if needed and also can attack Rome. Um, that yeah, these units will definitely go back. So now, yeah, I have two transports coming. This transport will go back. So now I have two infantry here, but I um, think I'm gonna need... It's gonna be quite a witch match act to be honest, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I can try to take this. Force him to trade a little more. Uh, or I can move down with this transport. So right now I only have two. No, I have three transports coming. So I can actually move up here and then actually move down with this and then go up with that. So yeah, I think it look yeah, it's looking good. So transport, one sub, one of this and an eight infantry. So the Russians, just 6 infantry. Uh, <clears throat> I think I am gonna try to strafe uh, this. Maybe with 2 and 1 and 2 tanks. Just see. Just see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna try to strafe this. <clears throat> I hope I don't take it. No! <laughs> oh no, that's not good. I didn't want to take that. Ah, uh, one, two units. Yeah, I checked the odds. I had like 5% chance to conquer there <laughs> with this one round strafe. Ah, oh, that's... Oh, oh well. Alastor... I'm, yeah, I'm losing some firepower with the Russians. It's not good. Um, yeah, so yeah, he will obviously kill that, but yeah. So Germany 5, uh, 3 and 11. Took Caucasus, yeah, of course killed Arch, and took back France, and took back Northwestern. And he stacked Rome. But at least I managed to divert some units down here, so yeah, I will. But yeah, I'm gonna go to here. I was thinking about maybe sending one uh, transport here uh, with one cruiser here just to take some extra territory, but probably he will kill it with this. That might be worth doing. Um, so let's see, but yeah, we'll have a lot of money next round, so might actually be worth doing. I think I am gonna do that. Just take it with one and then... Anyway, my buy is gonna be seven and one and one fighter. So, obviously I am gonna kill this. I'm gonna move away from there. Uh... I am gonna attack France. Oh, wrong unit. Did I just choose the cruiser again? The transport, there we go. There we go, and then... this. I'm gonna attack this. 
Uh, I'm gonna attack this with the bomber. I'm gonna use the fighter there now. Do I use this transport to go here or do I wanna save? Might actually be worth going here. Provided they do take France. So yeah, actually I think I am gonna... I am gonna... Take this, I think. Yeah, because he will kill it, this Japanese fighter, that's almost guaranteed. Is it worth it? Nah, it's not actually worth it. Let's skip it. I'd rather just trade France, to be honest. So this will go up here. This will do this. And then the rest of the two transport will unload everything else and then go to France. So yeah, I think that's it. guy the other direction so I think I might want to move this here and then I want to go there and it doesn't have that many boats here and with this sub here maybe I am gonna place the bomber here actually but then you can go one two three and threaten the sea zone um, at least pull something back here of, of these two units, especially with this sub as well. But the destroyer, yeah, if I place it here, it will just get killed by everything here, so I might as well just save it. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna check India real quick, so all we can bring is two artilleries. And one battleship and one cruiser. And one fighter, or the three fighters and one bomber. Versus three, three and two for me. Yeah, he can't take it. Um, so yeah, I think this looks good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Actually, my sub has been... <laughs> he's been able to kill my sub the entire time because I forgot to change my <laughs> uh, profile, but oh well. <laughs> um, anyways... Um... Yeah, I can get a small Kazakh stock going here, so that's pretty nice. And... Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. Looks good. So fighter, artillery, free infantry, and the rest there. So Japan 5, one fighter, nine infantry, and one artillery. Uh, took New Zealand, took Australia, took Vologda, took Xinjiang, uh, took Hawaii, and failed to take Burma. So this gives me some interesting option. Maybe I'm, I want to hit this to take out his reinforcements and really, really slow him down here. That might be an option, actually. But yeah, we'll see on the British turn. So, with 
USA, I'm gonna buy 10 1 and 1 and 1 transport and then yeah, just shuck up to here and then continue a very mini shuck to here. Uh, basically, so yeah, we are gonna take two like this and uh, yeah, we are gonna take Alaska back. And yeah, I can't kill this. Maybe I should go to here with the sub just to, so this transport doesn't go up to here. Yeah, I think that's it. No other combat. So I'm gonna move in with the carrier and the destroyer and. Yeah, I'm gonna have two fighters there. I'm gonna move up with the tank. I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna pull off one fighter up to here. And then, yeah, I'm gonna load up to here. This one will go down to here. These two will come back. This will go here, and this will go up here. Actually, we'll go down here. This, just to try to... So he doesn't do any Brazil shenanigans. Um, this cruiser is to protect against this bomber in case he stacks France. I also, I gotta watch out for a VC victory now, so... Yeah, India is safe-ish. <laughs> Um, and also, yeah, he can stack this, and also he can stack this, so, yeah, we shall see what he does, but I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he can kill this, not now, that's safe. So one transport, one tank, artillery. I'm gonna need 10 units here, and then... Uh, yeah, this should be safe. Actually... I'm gonna put the tank here. Just in case he takes this. Then I have some retake options. Like this. Alright, I'm also gonna use my last artillery with the Russians. Um, I want this back and I wanna... I would like to kill this as well. If I get a good result, I might even strafe here. Ah, too bad. Oh well. It was mostly to shave off some German units. And yeah, this is safe. Alright. So, German is what 10 infantry and 3 artillers. Took Caucasus, took Archangel, took Northwestern, took Southern Europe, and uh, took back France. Yeah, we lost quite a lot of units. Uh, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about hitting this, but since I need to trade back Caucasus, I'm not gonna do that because yeah, the odds are too bad. Um, also, I'm a little worried about the VC. Um, VC uh, snipe next round. Like, yeah, this round it's okay, but... Uh, next round, so... 
that's also why I don't want to hit this. So with this units, I can't hold Kazakh because I forgot to, to move down some Russian units on the Russian turn to hold this. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I, I actually have to move them back down <laughs> in order to sport the VC snipe. Uh, so I'm just gonna trade these two and trade this uh, and bomb Karelia. So my buy is one, eight, and two. Uh, so we are gonna take this and then we are gonna attack this. And yeah, we are gonna bomb Karelia. We are gonna attack this. Oh yeah. I actually do want to trade this as well to try to save the Russian artillery. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Alright, nice. Western. Then we got France. All right, liberate Caucasus. Good round. Uh, so now I actually do want to keep one unit there. I'm gonna move this guy here. I have to back up with this sub. So I am gonna move one unit back down, but then I have to go back, like I said, to protect against the VC snipe. Um, so yeah, I am gonna stand here. Two, three, four, five. I can't reach France from there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. It's gonna have to go here. Alright, yeah, you can trade back Caucasus. I have to <laughs> save one unit. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to place them here. Like, I could block the India plane now, but I, I kind of want to save this destroyer for something later. Um, so I'm just gonna go here. I checked the odds, it's, it's not that important. And also I can take it back, so... And also this, sh this should be that, that zone. Uh, I am gonna have one infantry stay here because the odds now is. Uh, I gotta check again. So we can bring four and two, and then four fighters, and then one bomber, one cruiser, and one battleship. And uh, I will have. Two infantry, five tanks, and four fighters. So yeah, I have like 82 chance to hold, so I think that's okay. Like, yeah, it's okay if they want to try to attack that. So, yeah. So, two tanks, one infantry, the rest goes here. Fighter here. Oh, that's unlucky. Um, and yeah, took Kazakh and move his neighbor here. So now, I, next turn, I can just block this. 
Uh, so with the USA, I'm gonna buy a three and one more transport, and then you skip shocking. Uh, so I want to try and take this. And uh, yep, that's it. I'm gonna need one US fighter here to have good odds to hold this next turn, so I don't have to worry about a VC snipe. So I'm gonna keep shocking to here. I am... I'm gonna go there with this fighter. Um... I'm gonna move up with this. was a little mismanagement there, I just saw with the transport, because I didn't go everything in here. Uh, oh well, maybe I didn't need that second transport. Uh, so we are gonna move up these units. Uh, I think... I think Moscow's safe, I just gotta double check. Just in case, so 10 and what's he have? 11. Two fighters versus, let's say I don't build anything, just have one and two fighters. Yeah, yeah, Moscow is safe, it's no worries, because I want to trade these two territories. I want to little dance the Germans as much as possible. Um, so I'm going to place this one here, just to be annoying. Um, Oh yeah. So I'm gonna place the transport there, two there, and then like this. So <coughs> I need to replace my artillery. Because I am gonna use it here and then two guys there. Yeah, this is like a 50-50, but yeah. Let's see if we can get lucky. Alright, one. Hmm. I don't want to give them free territory, so I'm gonna keep pushing. No worries, the British can clear this. So, yeah. Uh, no worries. I was thinking if I had to take or a sack a fighter, but that's not a problem. Things are ramping up. Let's see what it does. Round 7, 10 and 2 are repaired for. Uh, took Caucasus, took back Southern Europe, took Northwestern Europe, took back France, and took Archangel. Oh, stuck to be quite a lot. So, this is a strafing opportunity, I hope. Well, so far the strafing hasn't gone so good, but yeah, we'll have to try it again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to kill this. I was contemplating going back here, but I think it's better to just use this destroyer here now. And then maybe try to block again next round. Well, I, I don't need to. If I can kill this, then I don't need to use this destroyer block. Uh, and yeah, just trade these two. So this will be my buy. So we're gonna take this. I'm gonna take 
this. I'm gonna use this here. We are gonna use three fighters here, and then one fighter and one bomber here. I'm gonna use France here. Like this, yeah, and everything else to France. So one bombardier, and then fighter, and then fighter here. Um, so yeah, I think that looks good. nothing to pick up so I don't need to block so I am gonna place this here as I had the last time and uh, yeah I think that's it I am gonna keep this stack here because I want to keep that zoning this so one tank and two infantry and the rest goes to UK Japan 7, 1 bomber, 7 infantry, 2 artillery, and 1 tank, and bomb Russia for 9, took Novo, took Burma, and failed to take Kazakh. Uh, <coughs> I've been actually looking, I can actually stack France this round and hold it the next round, so I think I'm gonna do that, but it requires me shuffling some units from Norway. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, that's why I'm only buying five and one, and then I'm gonna buy one fighter and one bomber to try to dead zone this in case it goes for this canal. Um, and uh, yeah, also I'm gonna take Alaska back. Uh, but yeah, it requires me some shuffling around some units um, to make it happen. But yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and also, his odds on France now, if I stack it, so it requires me this units and then four units from Norway this round. Uh, so I think I have like 70% chance of holding it. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so, the only combat is this. Yeah, nothing else. And then we are gonna pick up these units, and then these units, and then... These units go there, and then... These units go there, and this unit's gonna move up. And... Uh, yeah, we are gonna move down this, and then move this to here, and then I'm gonna need this fighter to reinforce France next round, that's why I'm moving it here. Uh, I think I'm gonna move this cruiser here. So, in case you wanna hit this. Also, I'm gonna move this sub over here. Also, I st yeah, <laughs> this sub has been... set for combat <laughs> all this time, but yeah. Um, that was my buy again. Oh yeah, these units are for here. So I am gonna move one unit up and then put the fighters and bomber here because they can reach this. 
So one, two, three, and then land here or in Cuba. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. So 13 units, that's 16 infantry, two artilleries, two tanks and four fighters, which gives me 73% chance to hold. So I don't think it goes for that. And also, yeah, these units were in force and then I am going to unload some more units next round. Uh, and I'm going to evacuate India, it's time. So depend I think I'm going to try to strafe this, so depending on how this goes, I am going to stack Kazakh and also if I can t take this territory as well. Uh, but we'll see. Um, just checking so I didn't forget anything. Looks like I didn't, so let's do this. So the bomber and fighter there, and then the ground units there. So yeah, Russia is bombed. So what I can do is I can buy this. Three guys. I'm gonna need some artillery. So one, and then two there, and then the two fighters there, and then... I think it's seven I want to go for. Uh, all my strays so far has been pretty terrible. <laughs> Either I took the territory or I got no hits, so let's hope it goes better now. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for combat. So let's do this. Let's try again. Let's hope he misses. Alright. Alright, let's get four hits. Yeah, that was not so good. Um, I'm gonna check the odds on... So now it's... 5 and 2 versus 3 versus 1. I'm gonna check here. Yeah, it's 7% chance, 8% chance to conquer. So do we pull, do we try to pull the trigger again? Hmm, this could backfire a lot. Yeah. I think it's more important to stack Kazakh, so... Because now, uh, I need like 9 units from Moscow to here, uh, in order to hold Kazakh, so... So yeah, I'm gonna do some quick odds. Let's see, so he has now three infantry and uh, six tanks and two fighters. And if I fail to kill this with the British, he has one and two and two fighters and three bombers. So nine, and I'm building nine, eleven. How much do I have here? So I have uh, 5, that's 16 infantry and 3 artillery. Yeah, there's no two-way punch, so I'm actually gonna retreat. Uh, I rather stuck Kazakh. So we're gonna retreat. Then we are gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units there. Mm. Yeah, I want the anti air here in Moscow just in case. Uh, 
and I'm just double checking the Kassar gods. So two tanks and yeah, three fighters, three bombers. So I'm gonna have 14 units and six tank and six tank and six fighters. So yeah, I'm gonna have like an 80% chance to hold. So yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, just double checking the Moscow odds so again real quick. I don't want to <laughs> miscalculate, that would be so bad. So 3, 6 and 2, even though I think it's going to bring back his tanks. So, yeah, that is no, not a problem. So, yeah, let's do this. All right. Germany 8, 6 and 6. Took Vologda, took Caucasus, took West Russia, and uh, failed Northwestern Europe. Um, yeah, so we can hold France uh, now, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, obviously I have to abandon India now. So my buy is going to be 8 and 1, and 1 fighter, and this fighter will trade this to reinforce Russia. Uh, so I am going to take Rome, I am going to try to trade this, I'm going to trade this, I want to trade these two as well. And then, yeah, the rest will just go. I think the best case scenario will be here if he gets back now so the Russian can take it. Yeah. Oh. This is good because now he has to. Obviously, he wants India, but it, it disrupts his logistics a little at least. Uh, so, this will go to Kazakh. This fighter will go here. Everything else will go here. We press one infantry there. Now, these two, I am going to place them here, just in case I want to use them for an attack here. Also gives me the option to go to here if I want. Now the only problem is with this anti-air gun, like if I place it here, he can just kill it. So maybe I should just keep it here, so he can't use fighters, so he has to use more. I think that will be good actually. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is a full build in London, and then, yeah, like this. All right. Uh, Japan 8, one bomber, eight infantry, one artillery, and one tank. Bombed Russia. Wow, I love me to see that's a lot. Uh, took India. I actually lost a fighter for it. Um, yeah, I guess my AA hit uh, and uh, failed to take Burma. So this means I can retake India uh, again and uh, try to deny him some income. Um, I'll deny this factory for one more turn. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so with the US now, uh, so I calculated, uh, I can give him like a 50% chance to take France. Um, because I'm not gonna send this fighter here, I actually gonna send it to Kosak because I'm gonna need it. 
and also he went here with his battleship or I can just follow him with the sub and I'm gonna place this fighter here so one two three oh yeah if he goes back to here then I can't kill it but if I stand here with this fighter I can so yeah I'm gonna place it here and then it's dead zones and yeah the only thing I was checking is the Kazakh odds but I think I can make it work I need to send seven, 20, I need 20 infantry well, I think 19 is enough maybe no I'm gonna need the, the air gun there actually it's kind of close if I only have 19 because I'm gonna have to send one tank away to go to here so I'm gonna need seven infantry from Russia and I'm gonna have to use two here so that's nine and so then I will have ten infantry uh, in uh, in Moscow so then he has like a 20% chance to capture it but I think I can send up this British unit because I am gonna build in Kazakh I'm not gonna repair it for one round and then save some money and then repair next round so I think that's the plan so my buy is five and four and one fighter um, so I think there's like no combat with the US at all no it's not so this goes here uh, No, that's not right. No, it's right. And also I need to pick up six units from here to ensure odds. And then... Oh, I actually have four transport dragons in back. That's nice. I kind of miscalculated that one. So I am going to park the carrier here. In case he decides to go to Brazil, I am gonna go there. I am gonna put the bomber here. I am gonna put one fighter there. So now I'm gonna need one additional infantry here for eight units to pick up next round. Uh, so yeah, if he wants to take Yeah, I think I'm gonna park it there. One. Then we can land the carrier to help out. And yeah, yeah, he can take this, but yeah me. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna so now I have twenty I need 12 units here. So, yeah. So now it's a 50 50, but it's an IPC loss for him if he attacks according to the odds. So. Uh, yeah, looks good. Uh, one fighter and all the infantry there. Now with Russia, I'm only gonna build four infantry and save seven. The only attack I'm gonna be doing is this. So we got that. Uh, so now. I have 13 units here and I need 20 units. Well, yeah, 20 infantry, I mean. So. Um, like this, and so I only have 10 infantry here. 
So his odds now is 76%, but I can move back and yeah, he can two punch it, but then of course I will move back some planes to hold it. We might have odds on Kazakh then, but yeah, I think I'm trade three planes of his German planes. So I don't see that uh, the, I don't see that as realistic. That that's something he would do. Um, Yeah, there's seven here. Yeah, it has about 43% chance to clear this, but only 12% chance to conquer, so yeah, if he wants to do that, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I think this looks fine. So four infantry to there, and then... I will have 23 next round, but yeah, I'm, keep in mind I have to repair for eight, so... Yeah, let's see what he does. Germany 9. <clears throat> Three artillers and 8 infantry. Uh, we'll take back Italy. Uh, sailed northwestern. Actually went for Caucasus. Uh, wow, lost a fighter. Wow, that's so unlucky for him. Uh, wow, was 2 and 1. Wow, this was such a bad round for him. But so far the dice has really been with me this game. Like, he, I think he's been so unlucky with the dice. Like, there's so many small battles where he's lost fighters. Like, for example, my destroyer here a few rounds ago, I think. And, uh, yeah, all this, like, artillery, like, hitting insane. Like, yeah, I've been so lucky so far. So, yeah, but my buy with UK is gonna be one fighter and one bomber and three and three. And I am, actually I am gonna take back Norway, uh, Finland I mean. And we are gonna... Then we are gonna try to take this. I am gonna take that. Also, I'm not going to use this tank, I actually want it the defense of Kazakh because it's kind of e is he kind of even, but yeah, I think he might, the chance he might go for this. Um, so I think I'm going to put one extra infantry in here in case he tries to go for Moscow. Because yeah, he has like 20% chance to conquer, but if I place one extra there, it's only... Yeah, uh, 10%. I don't know, I might place a tank in this tank in here instead to ensure Moscow. Yeah, I don't know. Might go for this. Yeah, would he? Not so sure. Would suck losing Moscow now. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, first, we're gonna do these battles. Then we can decide. India. All right. So if he gets, hopefully only if he gets two hits, I'm gonna take the bomber's cash. If he gets three hits, then we have a problem. <laughs> yeah. So that's fine. I am. It's actually worth losing the bomber in this case just to delay his his deployment here. Uh, so we're gonna load in here. We are gonna place the fighter up there. Yeah, that looks fine. I can reinforce next round. I'm gonna place this here. This actually is fine here. Actually, it's. I'm gonna go there. 
Uh, now the odds on Kazakh. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I have 53% chance to survive with six tanks. So if I move one tank out, I only have 39% chance. I don't know, we might go for that. Should I offer him this Moscow battle? I don't know, it's a lot of planes though. It's a lot of heavy hitters. Yeah, I actually am gonna offer him slightly worse odds here. Like, I'd rather have Moscow live than he taking Moscow. Because, yeah, there are like four bombers. But yeah, I have an AA, but probably will miss. And then only seven and three. Like, there's a chance you can hit really poorly. Um. Hmm. Kind of a tough decision, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that one tank actually makes that much big of a difference, or rather have Moscow live. So I'm gonna play with this land, and yeah, if he goes for it, he goes for it. So yeah, let's do it. A bomber, and then fighter, and then free and free. Wow, 45 IPC. So Japan 9, but one fighter, 8 infantry and 2 tanks. And he went for Kazakh. And uh, it was a total draw. He survived with 2 bombers. And he also took it back India and uh, tried to take Vologda. But that also ended in a draw. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm happy with that result. Um, slows down in Japan a little, but yeah, may I think maybe in four rounds they can take Moscow. So I think I'm gonna restock Kazakh. Uh, and uh, and ju just hold it for one more round, uh, because probably the Germans they can move down here, but then obviously I have to move back. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so with the US I'm gonna buy seven infantry and five artilleries and uh, he also has this battleship here so i'm gonna start to uh, i'm gonna unload units in africa this will probably be the only two units i will move into africa the rest will go to here uh, but i need to contest something in africa i can't just give it to him for free and um, because yeah there's no threat here anymore so yeah so let's do this so yeah, the only combat will be this. I will send three fighters here, which will then go to Moscow. And uh, I think that's the only combat, yeah. Right, took it back. Now we will go down there and we will pick these units up. And then we will move everything back. So I will move two infantry there and then I will move two infantry down there and the rest will go to here. I will place the bomber right here. Also I'm gonna have to protect this sea zone so I'm gonna go down with two fighters here and then I'm gonna have to move everything up I'm gonna have exactly 12 units so that worked out nicely uh, so I'm gonna need 
Oh, I need a battleship. I don't think I need a battleship, actually. So this fighter will go to here, because I can hold France without it. I am gonna send this unit up. Uh, what's coming here? A one, two, and one. I don't think it's gonna go for that with only a battleship. It should die. Uh, so I'm gonna save my battleship here. Um, maybe I should move it down actually. The only, I think I'm, no, I'm actually gonna need it for defense here because yeah, I have so many transports. Maybe I don't know, only has two fighters though. Yeah, my defense, if I move the battleship, is only one destroy, one cruiser, yeah, one carry, and one fighter. It should be enough, but yeah, I don't know. The price might be worth going for. Yeah, it's only two fighters, so... I also would like the option to go back up here, uh, if I want to. So yeah, I think this will have to be enough. Uh, so yeah. All right, so now with the Russians, let's see how it looks like if I build four, I can build one <laughs> unit in Moscow. Wow. It's also a possibility for him to like can open up <laughs> like one, two, three if I go here, <laughs> if I only have one infantry uh, in here. But yeah, I can send these fighters. But I'm gonna, if I decide to stack a sack, I'm dependent on these fighters to go here. Um, so yeah, yes, one fighter and two bombers. Hmm. Hmm, actually, tough choice. I'm actually gonna have to do some odds. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just noticed <laughs> I have this tank here, so even if it does a can opener, I can block it. So yeah, I'm gonna restack Kazakh. Uh, although we could go for a very... Yeah, nah. I was thinking like maybe he could go for a cheeky... <laughs> yes, two planes can go for this or this. Like, since I'm... Well, never mind, it's only this, yeah. Never mind, yeah, let's do it. Five infantry and then this, of course. Oh yeah, it's non-combat. Uh, so these units will go up here, the rest will go down here. So one unit to there, and then the rest will go down Kazakh to hold it one more round, so I don't have to trade it. And, uh, yeah. So Germany and Lion Intensity took Finnbam. Um, took West Russia, took Belorussia, sailed Ukraine, uh, sailed Archangel, took Italy, and took Northwestern Europe. So now my buy is actually gonna be a complex one fighter and four and two, and I'm gonna go in here and then liberate a bunch of stuff and take back Rome and take back West Russia. So, let's do this. So, first things first, I wanna kill this. I can't use the planes because um, yeah, I I need them for Kazakh. So I'm gonna do this here. Here we are gonna use one artillery to go inside here. Mantle bomb, I can 
actually. Uh, yeah, here I can use a fighter. Yeah. So I think that's it, and then just I'm gonna load the friends. That's enough. No, I need one more, I feel like. Yeah, look. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. I have to liberate Karelia. Like this. Oh yeah, now I have this as well. Um, hmm. Kinda wanna take this. Uh, I gotta start over. This got very weird. <laughs> um, Yeah. So I want to liberate Karelia. Uh, I want to attack this, and then yeah, I want to go in like that. And then I'm gonna save this too for later uh, to the next round. That means I need one more of this. Yeah, now it looks better. Oh, I forgot the bombard, so... I think I actually want this territory because I don't want him to go in here like this. I can't block it with the Russians. Like yeah, he can land he can't land he can't even land planes because yeah I don't have so much to attack with. So like all he has is two bombers. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna take the tank. Oh wow. of it so now we're gonna go into here with everything except this one i am gonna load one artillery in there i'm gonna place the bomber and this here this one is going to kasak not there and then load it like this this will go here this will go here and uh, Yeah, I think that's it. Now the US will just keep piling on. Uh, so yeah, I can... Yeah. It's my defense profile. That looks good. How much money do I have at the UK? 40. Yeah, can build a lot of units next round. Uh, so yeah, looks good. So complex fighter and there and there. And there we go. So Japan 10, four tanks, five infantry and two artilleries. And he took a bunch of them to this territory and bombed Russia, but actually lost the bomber and went to here. But actually, uh, when I went to here with my submarine, he wanted to uh, go to here, but 
then there's a bug in the game happened. So they attacked it even though he pressed disengage. And that really ruined it uh, for him. So we've been talking behind the scenes and yeah, I feel so bad. Like I forgot that bug exists. But yeah, so yeah, definitely I'm gonna move this sub because yeah, I don't, it feels dirty to like kill it this way or like, and but, yeah, I offered him to move some units away to make up for it. But yeah, he said we can just play on, but yeah, like, yeah, if you're watching this later, like, I'm sorry this happened, like, I completely forgot about this bug, and, like, oh, yeah, it sucks when it happens, but, yeah, so definitely I'm moving the sub uh, on my turn. So, yeah, I also forgot to record the turn, because we were talking at the same time with the US, but yeah, I just unloaded here, and with the Russians, I took Ukraine and moved back to Moscow, because, yeah, I can't hold Kazakh anymore, so... Uh, yeah, that's what I am did. But yeah, so now he's taking his turn. And uh, yeah, he bought 10 infantry. And uh, yeah, he's doing his own combat now. But yeah, like I hate. Oh, feels so bad. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back on my turn. Uh, so Germany 11, yeah, 10 infantry, took back Karelia, Italy, failed Northwest, failed Baltic, failed West Russia, and uh, yeah, uh, took back Ukraine with here. Um, so maybe he's doing like a one-two punch here with um, uh, Germany and Japan. But yeah, my buy is just going to be all ground now, it's starting to focus on Berlin. So, we are gonna move away from here, and uh, we are gonna... Try to take this. And... Yeah, so it can reach, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Actually, I'm gonna attack this. Should have used the bomber in Corellia, but yeah, it's nice. Well, it's easy to <laughs> think of that uh, after the fact. Uh, so we're gonna move this. This will go here. I'm gonna move one guy up there. Like yeah, if he wants to kill this fleet, that's fine. And uh, what else? So we will probably kill this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the Russians. We are here for sure gonna stack this now. Might even go for this. But yeah, that's our turn. So we're going to deploy 2 and 2, I think. Oh, I actually could have deployed more, but oh well. Uh, I forgot to record again, but Japan 11, 5 tanks and 1 bomber. 
uh, took Archangels, went for Coxes and took it, and stacked Kazakh, and he went for this. And yeah, went to Africa. My buy was 12 and 1, and I only went for my air against Caucasus. And uh, yeah, just kept stacking units here. And with the Russians, I went for Vologda and uh, and yeah, took back Caucasus. So yeah, things are ramping up now. So depending on what it does, I'm gonna have odds on Berlin pretty soon, uh, but also we will have odds on Moscow pretty soon. Um, so yeah, we can see what he's gonna do. Yeah, he's gonna take back Italy again. Might move this units back. Depending on how this goes, because yeah, I have to count. But yeah, I'll be back on my turn. So Germany 12, bought 10 infantry, uh, took back Italy and lost 2 infantry, took back Baltic, took back Northwestern, and uh, yeah, so actually I think I might, I have 80% chance to conquer with a 2-way punch right now. Um, so I'm, well, actually I don't, I need my... Fighter, so I am gonna wait one more round, then I think I'm gonna go for it. So yeah, my buy now is gonna be 10 and 2, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we are gonna take this. Gonna take this. No, no, I want only one bombard. Yeah, like this, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Got Northwestern. And to back Italy. Uh, uh, um. So yeah, I'm gonna put fighter there in case I need it. And then put this back and then this sub. What the hell do I want to do with this sub? I don't want to place it anywhere near where he has transport, so yeah. I don't know, here maybe? Um. So yeah, I think next round I might attack. Alright. So Japan 12. <clears throat> Four bombers and two fighters and took a lot of territory. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to abandon Moscow now, but I should have, like, if he doesn't attack anything, I have like 82% chance to conquer with a two-way punch. So yeah, my buy is 8 and 4, and uh, yeah, we are gonna liberate this. Mm, that's the only combat. Gonna move this there, this units can stay. I'm gonna move out these fighters. This can stay put. Gonna load. Gonna move up. 
Gonna move three dudes up there. I'm gonna move this up there. And I uh, think that's it. Kind of poor with my cancer. <laughs> Only 38, but yeah. Hopefully we'll change the next round if we don't take Berlin, otherwise it will, well, if we take Berlin, otherwise it will be hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously we'll take this, so yeah, if we don't take Berlin, it's actually GG. Um, but yeah, so... Mm. So, 4 and 12 units. So with Moscow, uh, I'm just gonna buy like that and deploy in Karelia. And uh, the only thing I'm thinking about is if I should stay because, uh, but yeah, no, I don't want to liberate these territories for them to take. So I think maybe I'm just gonna go up here. Uh, Could delay him taking this with only yeah sending one infantry here and then block with the AA gun here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just gonna take this and this and then run away. All right, <laughs> I can't. I have to take the territory. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna deploy it there anyway. And then, yeah, if he wants to go for the port with two tanks, that's okay. Uh, now the problem is, question is, should I stay? Nah, actually, I want this unit alive. So yeah, let's see if we can take Berlin. So Germany 13 bought an AA gun and 9 infantry. I uh, took Baltic and uh, failed to take Rome. That's a shame. Kind of wanted him to take Rome so I could take it with the Americans, but yeah, yeah, can't have it all. Um, so my current odds uh, on Berlin is with a two-way punch is about 94%. So yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I don't see <coughs> the benefit of waiting one more round because yeah, then you can just start to reinforce, and I think the odds will decrease. So, I'm gonna go for Berlin now. <coughs> so... Moving with everything... What? What did just... Uh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> All right, yes, we're starting again. So let's pick up everything. Pick up this unit, and there we go. Bombards, bomber, move in with everything, and yeah. I think that's it, and this sub is over here. I can't do anything, so... <coughs> Yeah, I think that's it, so let's see. Uh, yeah, obviously we're gonna lose everything here, but yeah, that's okay. Bombards miss. So yeah, seven hits, not the best. <laughs> I think everything just dies, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so now let's check the odds on um, this now, so he so has 40 infantry now, yeah, oh wow, yeah, the odds decreased to just 80% to conquer, um, so yeah, we shall see, yeah, but <clears throat> not the best hits there with the British, <laughs> kind of terrible to be honest, but yeah. Uh, 
And this sub will move here, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So now we wait for the American turn and see the conclusion on Berlin. Uh, actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, I uh, know. I was thinking if we want to bomb this to increase the odds, but yeah, I can't do it. Uh, yeah, so... I think I'm gonna just put the fighter in France. Two artilleries. Uh, actually, I... Oh my god, that's two. I wanna put, <coughs> like, some units in the UK to be able to... Uh, to trade here in case I have to. I'm gonna do like this. Don't care about the Rome at the moment. So yeah, there we go. So Japan 13, 7 infantry and 1 bomber. Uh, went for Transjordan, took Russia of course. Oh wow, I managed to hold South Africa. Um, took Karelia, uh, and because of my mistake, and got a draw in Libya, and took Western Canada. <coughs> uh, so yeah, now I gotta be careful because now this can reach my transport. Um, so yeah, my buy is gonna be 4 2 and 1 and 1 bomber. Uh, so yeah, yeah, now we go for Berlin. Uh, obviously take this. Alright, I kind of need to use one transport. Like this, to bring the battle ship. Uh, the bombards, I mean. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Uh, oh, I almost forgot eight infantry. So yeah, <clears throat> I currently have eighty percent chance to conquer. So let's see. All right. Uh, ouch. Uh, all right, let's see. Five. Twenty-three. Let's see how many he gets. He gets. Ouch, twenty-nine. Uh, all right. Uh, let's count the odds real quick. So now I have twenty-one, and he has fifteen. He still has his AA gun. Yeah, I have <coughs> 98 uh, chance to conquer, so you'll be alright, hopefully. 20. 17. We should be able to take Berlin. No. Alright, we got it. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna have to move these units back. Um, I am gonna move two dudes there. Can't reach any of this, so I think I might just uh, actually. I think I might. I want to contest Africa. Yeah, I I gotta go to Africa with this unit. So yeah, I'm gonna load there, and then the rest goes to there, and. Just in case he takes this, I'm gonna move here, so I'm gonna move up, how many is it? Eight? 
eight tra five transports. Yeah, so ten units, and then I can <coughs> use these units to go down to Africa if I want to. Um, yeah, so let's go some on some transport hunting. Um, now the question is with the Soviets. I don't know if I should retake this or not. Like it would be nice to deny him like eight production cap <coughs> capacity, but also he, if I take it, like he gets, I'm gonna have eleven ITC that he's gonna get again. <laughs> So then he will get like, yeah, 81 IPZ again, so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, so US is only 48, but yeah, we're gonna start capturing some territory here. Um, but yeah. Might go through here as well. So if we look at how many bombers he has, he has four, five, six bombers. I only <coughs> I bought one extra, so I have two. I'm gonna start to buy some more. Mm, but yeah, I think maybe it's better to take it back. Just to deny him to make me so so I can start cementing my position here in uh, <coughs> in Europe. Like, yeah, he's gonna get 88, but yeah. Like, these units, like, if I go here, they will just die. And they will get... Yeah, it's only, like, 10 IPC. What's that? One fighter or three infantry? When I can deny 8. So, yeah, I think it's better if I just take it back. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Did I buy again? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna move an extra guy up there. Oh yeah, he can kill it. I'm actually gonna move everything up. And then deploy to here. Four, two, yeah, I'm gonna buy four and one. So, should I would lie, yeah, I can take it back. It takes it, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, next turn. So bomber. <coughs> Kinda need some. Should do it like this, I think. Can just move. Pick them up later. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, now the Russians. I am gonna kill this. I am gonna go to here, and I'm gonna go back to here. Fourteen I can see instead. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in here just to be annoying. Um so yeah. Looks like we have a very long game on our hands. Uh, so, UK for 14, uh, yeah, Germany 14, but yeah, from this point I'm not gonna tell them what to do, because, yeah, they can't buy anything, so you can see for yourself, like, they will only move this to infantry around. So my buy will be 5 and 1, and 1 bomber, and uh, I'm actually gonna move my navy over here, because I'm gonna try to death zone, so these units can't come up. Uh, to here because I'm gonna need one more loading into Africa so I might need these units to help here and because I still have this cruiser and battleship here I can only like leave one destroyer and he only has one fighter and one bomber here 
Um, so I can leave all my transports here. Uh, so yeah. And the only combat I will do is actually... I will just take this and that's it. And the rest I will unload to Berlin. So yeah, that's the only combat. And uh, yeah. So yeah. Um. So yeah, we... The AA gun can go here. I'm gonna move one destroyer here. I'm gonna move the other two transports here just in case since I didn't use them. And I'm gonna move the entire navy except the one destroyer, the one's left here. This two will go there, I will go there, this will go there. Like, yeah, I know he can attack through here. So maybe I actually should put some units in there. But yeah, I can deploy there. I'm gonna put maybe the AA gun here. No, actually, I want him to take it, because then I can take it with the US. That would actually be better. I actually prefer that, so I'm gonna leave this empty. Um, Should I leave this unit here? Uh, actually, I want to move it up. I want some options in case it goes in here with this maybe. Um, but yeah, I checked he can't win by a visa snipe, so that's why I'm leaving this empty. Um, so yeah, you can take Karelia, Moscow, and this. That only gets him to 8, so he can't take an another visa city. Yeah, he can take this, sure, but yeah, <laughs> don't think so. No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, nah, he can take this. So that's why I'm leaving, and also I can retake with the US. But yeah, that's my move. Uh, so I have one battleship, one cruiser here, and uh, yeah, some transport that should be enough against this. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah, he can't reach anywhere, so yeah. Looks good. So I am gonna deploy the bomber in France. Actually, I want these units in the UK. Yeah, looks good. Now we see what they will do. So, Japan 14. Three bombers, 13 infantry, and two subs. Um, took a lot of things in Africa, and took Karelia, and took back Russia. So, he has a lot of money now. He saved a lot of IPC. Um, so, he, what I'm thinking about, like, he has these bombers here, like, slightly unprotected. Um, so, I think I'm gonna try to hit this to shave off some of his bombers. Uh, because I can reach this with this free and this one bomber from the UK. And then I'm gonna bomb this with the the um, Americans. Uh, so my, I think also I'm gonna build a fleet on this side. Uh, to harass him like all over. So my buy is 10 infantry for Berlin. Two fighters, one destroyer and one carrier. So let's do it. Uh, so obviously we're gonna take this. I am gonna sack this transport. Uh, I'm gonna use all fighters. And uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I am gonna use one artillery and one tank. I am gonna blitz this and I am gonna blitz this. And we're gonna attack this. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, none of these bombers can reach here. Like yeah, he can come in with his fleet, but yeah, that's okay, I think. But, yeah, I, I want to try to shave off some of these bombers. But I don't 
no, yeah, because I'm thinking if I should use the Bombards, because I'm gonna have to come in if this goes poorly. And yeah, mm. I'm thinking just if he moves in here, but yeah, I don't think that's the most big of a deal. So yeah, let's do this. I think I like this bite. So yeah, I think this unit's actually gonna stay here, so yeah, I'm gonna use the Bombard. Oh, I actually got the territory. I just wanted to kill the tank. Yeah, let's see if we can kill this. This is kind of important. Yeah, good. Because otherwise I couldn't use the British planes on, on this. Um, now let's hope the bomber hits. Alright, good. Shape on some infantry. That's really good. That's okay. Ah, oh, crap. Oh shit, I just realized something. Yeah, he can come in with this. Oh, and protect them. Oh, that's not good. I completely forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. That's a mistake. Uh, but yeah, so... Actually, I can move this forward. But yeah. Yeah, that was a total waste of a bomber. Oh, I should have seen that. Uh, anyway, we are gonna unload a lot of units in Africa. In fact, I think we're gonna unload it all. And we are gonna go there with this. I think these units will stay put. And actually, I am gonna not do this. I'm gonna send one transport there. But yeah, that was such a waste of a unit. <laughs> uh, so I am gonna send one carrier there. I'm gonna have to send these carriers back for support here. No, I don't think I'm gonna move anything here. I'm just gonna let him trade. Like, yeah, if he wants to kill this, then fine. But yeah, obviously he's gonna move these units back here, and then so yeah, then I can't attack. Yeah, that was stupid. Can't continue to make these kinds of mistakes. But yeah, this one reaches. Actually, I'm gonna place it here just in case if it goes here, I can kill this. Uh, yeah. Completely. Yeah, this annoys me. <laughs> oh well. Um. Yeah, looks good. So, carrier, destroyer, and yeah, turn infantry. So, UK 7, uh, UK 15, I'm gonna buy 7 and 1 and 1 fighter, and then just go to here. Because, yeah, obviously he moved his units there, so, yeah. And there's no other units, so, yeah. Oops. Only gonna take this territory, it's the only combat I will do. Yep. And then... Uh, hmm, one... I don't think I can hold this, he has way too much stuff to kill this, I think. Actually, I'm gonna do some quick odds. Yeah, no quick lamps, no, because all these bombers, they can reach too. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put two units here, and then I'm gonna move up to here. Um, yeah, this transport can actually stay here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move back into here. I'm gonna put the bomber here. Destroyer. And... 
Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. So fighter, and then yeah, just I'm just gonna place every, almost everything in the UK, uh, except the fighter maybe. Fighter will go here. So you can't reach here. No. Yeah, it looks good. So, Japan 15. 19 infantry, 1 carrier and 2 fighters. Took Congo, took my transport. Uh, oh, went for this. Wow, lost a fighter and a bomber. Wow. Um, Libya, Karelia, Bulgaria and this. So my buy is going to be 10 infantry for Berlin, and then I'm going to buy one sub and actually one battleship because I want to stop putting on the, the pressure here. I want the two front war. Um, so, yeah, this is the buy. So I am going to attack this. Also, I am going to attack this. And I am going to attack that. The rest will go back to here. Can I kill? Yeah, I can attack here. One transport, so the battleship can go there. Actually, I'm not gonna use the battleship, I'm gonna use the cruiser. And uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to trail. Kind of heavy here. Ah, uh, no, alright, I only want one territory, I want the British to trail with the other, so... So, like this, forgot that. So, one, two, and... Yeah, I think that's it. There's no more combat. Flex stickering uh, game crashed. Oh, yeah, I'll just do it again. Oh, so, let's do this. Alright, got Corellia. Got Congo. Libya, very nice. And we got Poland. Oh, nice combat round. So now I am gonna go here with this stack. And I am gonna move up to here. So this is 8, 10 units. Actually, I'm gonna save one I'm gonna say two so one is going here I want to trade this possible so these units are gonna go here so now um, the bomber obviously has to go here uh, yeah, so the British will trade this. Uh, I am gonna go to here with this stack. Now, the question is with these two units. 
I don't think he has nothing in rage here, so I am gonna go to here with this unit, in, just in case. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I think we managed to shave off some of his income. Yes, yeah, some. And the British will... oh. Right, the British can't deal with this. Oh, that was stupid. Well, that's another mistake. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm making too many mistakes. Yeah, this is not good. I thought, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna keep these two tanks in Berlin in case he makes some weird attack, because now we can attack with this and... Yes, yeah, some... Actually, I, I'm gonna have to check the odds on this. It's, maybe that's pretty close, just because I made a stupid mistake. Again. Uh, so, six bombers, seven bombers. And one fighter. Versus, I'm gonna move back. Yeah, I can always unload here with the British. Uh, so if I have 16 infantry and then like two fighters, yeah, should be alright. Um, I don't know if I want to take Belorash, but yeah, this was so stupid, why didn't I take this? Ugh, yeah. Just checking to see if we can make some sort of weird VC play, but yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this, like I can always rearrange with the British. Should be alright, but yeah, like I can't do these stupid mistakes. Can't afford to do that anymore. Alright, 57, so oh yeah, the... oh. So, UK 16. I'm gonna buy 8 infantry and 1 fighter. I think the combat, I think I'm only gonna bomb Caucasus. I think that's it. I don't want to take this yet. Uh, or do I? Maybe I do actually. But it does open up more territories for him to trade if I do that. Which I'm not a big fan of. But yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Not the best. Uh, so I'm actually gonna unload some units here. Then I can bring them up there. I'm actually gonna move these three fighters there just to protect Berlin. Like this. And I can't even reach this, so yeah, I'm also gonna move the AA gun back. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Fight, fighter, and then eight infantry. Ah, 
so uh, it looks like we managed to win. Uh, so if we look at the board, uh, somehow I miscalculated this. He has like he had like really good odds to clear it, but he got so unlucky here. Like he lost so many bombers, and what that did, like uh, his plan was to clear this and then use like the remaining bombers. He had like so many bombers, uh, like to dead zone all this sea zone, because then like I, yeah, I can't unload Africa. And then, like, you could get control of Africa and uh, and uh, outpace the allies uh, in the long game. But because he lost here, he lost so many bombers, and now I can still reinforce Africa, uh, he decided to resign uh, because it was, like, in the long game, this board actually favors allies. But, yeah, so he decided to resign, so we managed to win. But, uh, yeah... Like th this game, uh, it was really, really unlucky for uh, Julius. Like there were so many battles, like where he lost a fighter and like a bomber where he shouldn't have. Uh, like I think he lost like like something like seven, eight fighters. Like like not including this battle, like just like in small battles, like trying to go going for sea zones and like clearing out infantry and like. I got so many ridiculous hitbacks, uh, not to mention like the really strong start. But also, uh, even despite all that, even with the ridiculous Russia start that I got, and with like the really unlucky dice, he still managed to get himself in like this uh, kind of a positions to win the game. Uh, that really is a testament to how strong player he really is, and like, yeah, he he's a former champion, and I think it really shows uh, like how good good he is. Um, so yeah, and also another thing I want to talk about is this sub uh, bug. Uh, I got clarification now uh, how it works. So like, in order how this sub works, like if you have two subs, for example, let's say uh, like. Yeah, like the example, like, let's say I have a sub here in this navy and a sub here in this navy. Like what this does, like, even if you press disengage on both, like the bug does that it's, it will still like attack one of the navies. That's what the bug does. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure how the bug worked and like I even completely forgot that it existed when it happened here. Uh, but now I have a clarification on how it works, so it's good to know uh, about that bug. And uh, yeah, hopefully they, they will fix it soon enough. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, thank you Julius for a good game. Like, re I have to say, really, really well played. I think I, I, if if the roles were reversed, I would have been outclassed and <laughs> lost a long time ago with, with those dice that you got, and especially this uh, opening. So thank you um, and well played and good luck with the rest of your games. Uh, so let's take a look at the current standings. So currently, uh, yeah, we're actually in the lead, uh, which I never expected at the beginning of the season. But yeah, I suppose I should enjoy it now while it lasts because yeah, like I said, I don't think this is gonna last. But Right now we have a very decent chance of staying in the generals division because how it works in the generals division, like the the player finishes last, um, the player moves down two division, but uh, the fourth and fifth uh, placement uh, players they only move down one division, and the top three stay in the general division. Um, so yeah. Uh, Usually, like if you get ten points, like I think usually it's enough to stay in, in the general division. But yeah, it's of course it's different from season to season. But yeah, if we can manage to win one more game, then we have a very decent chance of staying uh, in the general division. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, for, to everybody who watched, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the, in the next game.